Morning guys. Today is the 12th of October and we're running uptown. Go to the post office. Then we're gonna go see Larry and um, get a look at his 54 Chevy. <clears throat> Drop a letter off to Andrea and Darren. And then we'll go see Larry. straightening up all your hard work's paying off here bud hold me long you'll be there you're pointing something out and then I always get up and go look at the computer but uh, yeah for I'm one person who likes the long ones uh, I like listening to you talk about stuff I learn a lot from Darren's channel So uh, after we go to the post office here, uh, let's see, we'll stop at Larry's. Larry's going to Florida for the winter here in a couple days. And um, that sounds like the smartest thing to do. Supposed to cool off up here. This weekend's not gonna be as bad as they predicted. But, uh, but it's going to be cooler coming first of the week. office take care of business and I'll be right back it's Larry's 54 Chevy and they chopped the top on it and they had what kind of issues did you have there Larry three or four inch drop three or four inch drop and then they pied they pied the top is that what happened in it no they, when they dropped it they they cut it across there right and cross there and then weld it back together and then wherever where's the well it 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 was it had a big dip in it all the way across and all the way across there I mean no yep is it, it was high the well was high right yep so it's looking pretty good it's a 305 got a 305 Chevy in it turbo 350 turbo 350 yeah 
front the front fender you know, the grill it's a 54 truck and the grill's a 53. okay the front fenders are 54 and the back this back fenders and the bed's a 46. really yeah it's got a 46 bed on it huh yeah and back fenders so it's kind of a put together deal you know so you got this capped here yes front and back and then we as we was talking a while ago, we welded, I welded metal in the stake holes. Right, got right those there. welded up and getting them fixed up. Getting them slick, yeah. And then I've got a Lance, Lance Hales making me a uh, roll pan. Okay, Go back for there. the rear? Yes. That'll look cool. Yeah, it will. Yeah. And I've got all the glass for it. It's five windows, you can see. Yep. And I'm slicking the door handles. I'm gonna weld them holes up and mud them over too. Okay. And that's about it, I guess. It's really not in that bad of shape there. No, I mean, it doesn't look bad. You bought it, it was just in primer, right? Yes. You see the gas tank that you take pictures Yep, of? I saw that. Yeah, I like that. It's a little different. Yep, it is. Yeah. It's a pretty straight old truck. Uh, fair. Fair. The, the back fenders is fairly straight there. Uh huh. Yeah, front fenders. They they on the front here. They roll. Right. They run your hand across the run. Well, still feel a little bit right there. Yeah, yeah. it'll. It's, it's coming now. There. Yeah, feels a little bit of spot right there. Yeah. So we'll have to work that over right there. And the hood's got some rolls in it. So they slicked it and well, a hope welded it. Right. Solid. And this had the same hump on it on this side, and I believe I got it out. No, it didn't either. I can still feel it. You a still bit. feel it? Yeah. Yeah. You feel it? Yep, a little bit right in here. Yep, right. See, that's right. I mudded it once. Yeah, this here, see this thing? The door, the door right. is supposed to have that piece come across there. See, it's starting okay. to dare. I don't know what happened. Were they grounded off at it or what? But I'm gonna. I got a, I got some of those uh, bullet mirrors. Right. I love them. pointed, and they come back like that. And we're gonna mount them on a piece here and mud it up, smooth that, and then bring it back and taper it off. I it. see. So just, you can't just mold it in right there. Yeah. Yeah. On both sides, so you won't be able to notice. Like right now where it just abruptly stops and nothing, you know. Right. Is that Louvre there factory? Yeah, it is. I didn't know that. I've seen them on all of them from 40, 48, I guess, 47 or 8, uh -huh. wherever they start at. 48, 7, I guess, to 40, to 54. Yeah. It's got Oldsmobile steering wheel and di uh, gauges. And then, of course, two bucket seats and they got a low car shifter. That Low came. Car. That came yeah. in it. Yep. That little console. Did they hook your neutral safety switch up on that? Uh, I believe it did. I did on uh, my forty-one. You want to make sure you do that because yeah. starting gear. I've seen some videos of where <laughs> that uh, that didn't work out too well. It don't. Well, that's safety. Yes, sir. Safety first. Yep. Well, that's a good-looking truck, Larry. What color are you going to paint it? You uh, know yet? I'd like to paint it black cherry, but any dark color shows that are imperfection. It does. So I may change my mind and go with a light gray. Like I said, that's a uh, 85 full 42 gauges and steering wheel. Okay, out of an 85 442 Oldsmobile? Right. Well, the dash looks pretty straight in it too. Yeah. Have you had to do a lot of work to that, or? Uh, I didn't. I haven't touched the dash. Yeah. All I did is put that little tack on it. I haven't hooked it up yet. Looks good. Yeah. It ain't. It ain't so far out of reach where I won't get it painted next summer. Right. Yeah. Well, that'll work. We got some more mudding to do, without a doubt. But, uh, yeah, it's getting cool up here. It's time to go south. I'm heading south. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Friday morning. Yeah.
And you go down there just north of the lake, is that right? Which lake you talking about? Okeechobee? North and west, 40 miles. North and west, 40 miles. Mostly west. How far from Orlando is that? It's two and a half hours south of Orlando. Okay. Yeah. Getting right down there where you run out of town, you come into that tall grass, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks good. Yeah, that, that little throw fire with two glass packs on some. Sounds yeah. good too. So Cody's going to paint it next spring? Yeah. Or summer? Yeah, probably. The more I look at it, probably middle summer before middle we Middle summer? Mud done and the body work done and painted. Yeah. Well, that'll work. Yeah. I've got to mount, I've got to mount two shocks. I'll do that. Swap For the, the rear? Holes. Yeah. we got to put air shocks on the rear. I like it. I like the looks of it. I do. And it drives good. It's got tire steering. And it tracks right down the road good. Good. And it steers good. And. Well, is that like a two inch? They got two inch drop spindles on that? Or. I mean, surely it's been dropped. It's lowered, right? I don't know. It looks lowered to me. I think the sprint springs are wore out. Oh, is it? Yeah. Cause they got them knuckle busters in between. They oh got yeah. Two of them on one spring. Oh, we don't. I'm gonna have to replace the springs probably. It may have drop spindles on it too, Larry. Cause I just don't think them are supposed to be that low, but they might be. Well, I don't know. Even if the spring's broken down, you know. Yeah. I, I don't know the answer. And you got something holding up. You got knuckle busters in it, so. Yeah, that's true. Two on one side and one on the other. So you may be right. I don't know. I just like the looks of. It. I'm gonna take that antenna off there. Plug yeah. that hole up. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it ain't gonna be there. I like it too. You're gonna to save those door handles. That'll look nice. I'm gonna. Yep. That's good coming off. That'd be next. Next thing. Yeah. And this hood got to be. This hood line here. Yeah. How that comes across, and then see how it's goofed up there. Right. We're gonna have. We're gonna weld a rod in that. I see. And uh, make that line straight across there. I don't think the nose looks bad. I don't think it's crooked or anything. Uh, it looks like it did a pretty good job of slicking it. Yeah. I bought those. I put those in there. I think for $35 a piece. No kidding. And 35 I put, bucks. I put amber lenses in them. Make, I'm going to make parking signals out of them. Right. I mean, turning light. Turning light. Turn, in light yeah. turn signals? Yes, instead of park, or parking lamp, really. And I got to make a, I'm going to make a metal pan come in here, flat, come around all the way back over to here, round off. I see. Close bumper. that off. Yeah, bumper pan. It all takes time. Well, that'll work. And money, but I can make that flat pan. <laughs> it ain't going to be hurting. Yeah, that's an easy thing to make <laughs> yeah, here. That's right. That's right. Well. That, you can see that top, that top's getting a pretty good curve. To it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it looks a little. I think it looks a little better. Yeah. Than when I first seen it. I, yeah. We didn't, well, I don't have any video of it from before, but I remember it being a little bit messed up. I think. Yeah, it was. Well, you could see it. You could stand back and look at it and see it. Was, yeah. They just chopped it, dropped it, and that's all they did to it. Weld it back together. So next spring. Yeah. When you get back, you'll start working on all your stuff again, and yeah, we'll yep. come back and get more video. First thing I want to do is we're gonna I'm gonna get those duels curved so they come closer to the inside. Right. So we can mount the, sh the rear shocks. Right. Put a mount, put a top bar mount across there, and then studs down on the bottom. And you gonna put coilovers in it, or no. just putting a regular air shock? shock? Air shock. Oh, air shock. That's what you said, in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Then I can set the rear end wherever we want it. Right. Clearance over the rear tires. But now it's a little tight. I like it. It's a cool looking ride. I like the look of this. Yeah. So right now I can just, I can just barely get thickness of my finger. Right. Yeah. And it should be up, you know, like an inch, at least an inch and a half more tire clearance. You've got to have room right. for it to work. You're going to get your front up a little bit too, or? Yes. Well, I'm going to straighten this, this out. Yeah, I can see where it's got a little bit of a hickey in it. And then I'm going to flatten this uh, roll right here all the way, all the way around it, and that ought to give me 
clearance off that tire. Yeah, that, that rubber's expensive to tear up in a fender well. I can't afford to tear it up. I, I have to do that pretty soon. I hate buying tires. Tires are just too high. Yeah. And then if that don't do them, I'm going to have to put new springs on it. Yeah. They don't ride bad at all in the front end. Originally, somebody had mounted those shocks. They were like 18 inch shocks, and these like a 13 uh -huh. inch, and they were bottomed out, mounted. Really? Yeah. And it just like it had two fours back yeah, there. Yeah, that'd just, be like solid suspension that's there. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. New set of springs on it. And we finally figured it out and took the shocks off and they're just too long. We can't even mount them, remount them. Right. Because you gotta have a you know a decent angle for them to work. Right. Yeah. Well, we'll come back next spring when you get back. Okay. Larry's gonna go down there and stay where it's warm. Fish, crappie fish all winter. Crappie fish all winter. Larry's a fisherman. Uh, wannabe. A wannabe fisherman, he says, but yeah. I think he's more than a wannabe. But, uh. Can't wait to get that antenna off. Hey, you, do you like the looks of that? Not really. <laughs> I think it'll look better with it gone. Yeah. The hole welded up. Yeah. I like them when they're all clean. Yeah, you know, me too. Shave the door handles and yes. make them look clean. And yes, I like the dashes clean too, and the firewalls. I like firewalls. Right, clean firewalls. Like on that 41, your master center is supposed to be right up against the firewall. Right. I hate to raise a hood and see that. Now mess you up put there. yours. You put yours under the under the floor, right? Under the seat back there. Right. Put a, a rod going to it. I've seen a lot of uh, I've seen a lot of builds do that. Yeah. Well, and and a lot of times it's not just for cleaning it up, but you almost need it. You know, because of the room, yeah. people putting big motors and yeah. stuff like that in them. And now my firewall, once I get the air conditioner welded back under there, right? But it back where I do. So this got air? Huh? This yeah. got air? Cool. Not, not this one. Oh, okay. The forty one. The 41's got air? Yeah, the compressor and everything's already mounted. Okay. On the motor. But I like I like clean firewall. Right. Slick and shiny, just like the fenders. Yeah. I do too. I like that too. Yeah. Well, I reckon we'll see Larry when he gets back. Yeah. And Hopefully. have us have a safe and fun winter. Yeah, I hope I do. You too. can think about me freezing my ass off up here. <laughs> Wishing I was down there. It's still probably 90 down there. It, it'll be hot for three or four weeks after. Well, it's been there. raining like a son oh, of a gun down there. I see where it rained seven inches in that one town. Yeah, guy, uh, guy I watch on YouTube, his name is uh, Darren, and yeah. uh, he uh, he was showing it was just raining. I mean raining, raining, raining. I called my buddy in Seaburn, it rained six inches. Oh yeah? In one 24 hour period. Now he was, he lives in Orlando, Darren does. And yep. he, he, he's a VW guy, yeah. like Cody. Yeah, and, Cody uh, Looper. But Benji mentioned he's the one that's done all this mud. Right. Cody Looper is a guy named helping Larry on the truck here and he just left. He had to leave right when I pulled up. So he's twenty year old and he's getting pretty good at mud. Yep, twenty years old and he wants to be a body man. There ain't a thing wrong with that. So Well, that's a look at Larry's fifty four Chevrolet. And uh We'll wish him and his wife a good winter, Thank you. and uh, we'll talk to him in the spring.